Welcome back, everyone, to the Steel Timber Sports Individual World Championship 2013 in Stuttgart, Germany. After an exciting first round, the best 10 have made it through to round two. Now the athletes have to tackle the single buck and the springboard disciplines. Only the best six will go to the final. Judge Tower ready. We join the third heat of the single buck, Mitch Hewitt against Jason Winyard. The Canadian Hewitt is a specialist with the axe. Can he keep up with Winyard in this discipline? Contestants ready. Three, two, one, go. Both men starting off strong. Winyard has the advantage, though. He is a specialist in this discipline, as I said, and he is very, very quick. Look at him go. He is already at the bottom. Mitch Hewitt struggling to get through the half, and he is done as well. Wow, Winyard with a best time of 11.79 seconds. He wasn't so happy with his first round performance, but he's back in the flow in single buck. The five-time world champ clearly relieved. All right, the next heat, Martin Komarek meets Robert Ebner. Both athletes have been doing well so far. How's the second round gonna go for them? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Ebner starting off strong with good, smooth, powerful strokes, long and strong. Komarek getting now into a rhythm. Let's see who's gonna take it to the bottom first. Wow, it's really close between these two. Ebner quickly down. Best time, 12.12 seconds. Komarek finishes it off in 13.82. Check out the replay. Both men are going strong with Robert Ebner, ultra motivated with the crowd behind him. And there we see Martin Komarek, 13.82, but not fast enough for this man, pumped with a time of 12.12. All right, here's the results of single buck. Jason Winyard first, Robert Ebner takes a good second, Brad DeLosa getting third. In the overall standings after the first discipline of round two, it's Brad DeLosa still on top, followed by Matt Kogar from the USA with Robert Ebner strong in third place. Next discipline is springboard, where the current world record holder Mitch Hewitt meets Jason Winyard from New Zealand once again. Three, two, one, go. Object here, get a pocket, put the springboard in, move up a notch, and it looks like Mitch Hewitt got the first one there. He puts his board in with four precise strikes. Winyard already falling behind. Hewitt going flat out on the other side. He's got his second pocket already. Winyard just can't seem to find the rhythm. Hewitt up on top. Winyard now struggling to get onto his second board. Hewitt looking really good. He is the world record holder in this discipline. So Winyard at a disadvantage, having problems on his second board. And Hewitt's got a couple more hits, and he's through. Hewitt with a best time of 42.03 seconds. Winyard with big problems, a poor time of 115.04. What a fantastic time for Mitch Hewitt. Nice to see in the replay how cleanly he cuts the pocket out. And then the last two mighty swings, the Canadian still has his feet on the ground. You know, I could have cut a lot better. I think uh, the whole night I've been scratchy and my springboard wasn't real great either. You know, uh, it, it may not be good enough. Whether it's good enough remains to be seen. In the next heat, Martin Komarek will meet Robert Ebner. Springboard is Martin's best event but Robert, with his good technique, should not be underestimated. Three, two, one, go. Good start for both gentlemen, clean hits. And it looks like Robert's got a precise pocket and he's up onto his first board, already cutting into his second pocket. Komarek putting his board in as well. And now Ebner, we see him up on his second board, struggling to get his ax out. And oh, a misfire by Ebner. The axe glances off of the log, knocking his hat off. Komarek is going to have the advantage here as he's got one, two hits, maybe more to get through that log, and he's through. Komarek does it in 46.87. Robert Ebner finally cuts through in 57.81. In the replay, the final blows from these two gentlemen. Pretty strong, actually, all together. The last heat in springboard, Matt Kogar up against Brad DeLosa, the top two men in the overall standings at this moment. Three, two, one, go. 
Good start for both gentlemen, Matt Kogar and DeLosa. DeLosa getting his board in quickly. Kogar now up on his first board, cutting the notch for the second board. Really important to get that notch cut properly so your board is stable. DeLosa now up on his second board, pretty much even with Kogar. DeLosa gets the first few blows into that log at the top. Kogar's got to play a bit of catch up here. DeLosa hitting well. Kogar also right there with them. DeLosa's got a couple more strokes here. Oh! DeLosa, 51-56. Kogar takes it down in 59-28. DeLosa wins it. In the slow motion, Kogar and DeLosa with super racing here. The overall leader just managed to keep it together and take the win. His final hit right there. Well, before we move over to Hot Saw, let's take a look at the results for the springboard discipline. Mitch Hewitt with a clear victory here. Martin Komarek came second with Brad DeLosa in third. In the overall standing, it's the moment of truth. Who is going to get into the grand finale? Finalists so far, Brad DeLosa, Matt Kogar, Robert Ebner, Martin Komarek, Jason Winyard, and Mitch Hewitt. After two exciting rounds, we come to the final discipline where anything can happen, the hot saw. In the grand finale, the six best athletes will step up to the mark one after the other. Their aim set firmly on taking the trophy home. Timers ready. Contestants ready. 60 seconds to warm up your saw. If ever there's a time where warming up the saw is critical, it's with the hot saw. These machines are finicky. Mitch Hewitt, our first athlete to get started in hot saw. Hands on the wood. Get set. Good start for Hewitt, sets the saw, first cut is clean, coming back the other way, oh, makes a mistake, had to reset the saw, gets the cut, and now his third cut, and it is clean to the bottom, and he's in the line, good run, a time of 10.97 for Mitch Hewitt. The replay of Hewitt's second cut here, he has to set the saw straight again to get a clean cut, and that cost him time. Gentlemen, your cut was good. So Mitch Hewitt sets the first time in the grand finale. Next up is the defending champion, Jason Winyard. Hands on the wood. Get set. Time to beat 10.97. Winyard in clean. Two cuts good. Third cut looks solid. Wow. 5.67 seconds for Winyard. Incredible super time. Winyard celebrating a good performance in the hot saw. Wow. Amazing time. Next up, Martin Komarek, currently fourth. He can still win this contest if the hot saw can deliver the goods. Get set. Time to beat, five, six, seven. Komarek, good start. He's got his second cut clean, third cut coming down, and he's through in six, seven, five, just over the mark. A good performance that puts him on top of the overall leaderboard for now. Look how well he controls that hot saw. He's really pleased about that one, and he should be. And now, the local hero steps up. Germany's Robert Ebner. So far, he's been doing very well in this contest. What's he gonna do with the hot saw, and can he handle the stress? Hands on the wood, get set. Oh, a misfire, he's gotta reset the cord. The saw does not roar into action, and that's a big problem for Ebner. He gets the cut. First one is good, second one is a problem, and then the third cut is clean. He's through, but that is not a good time for Robert Ebner. 13.85 seconds, obviously disappointed, and he was really hoping to do well on home soil. All right, your cut was good. Three good cuts in the end, but his time is slow. He may still have a chance at the podium. Next is the reigning U.S. champion, Matt Kogar. Can he knock Martin Komarek off pole position? Hands on the wood. Get set. Hot saw time to beat, 5.67. Good first cut for Matt Kogar. Gets caught up on the second cut. That slowed him down, but it's a good one, and he's got a third cut. It's clean. The clock stops at 8.18. A good time for the American, but is it enough to overtake Komarek in the overall standings? Here's his first cut in replay. And Matt Kogar managed to take the lead, but there's still one heat to go. Brad DeLosa 
and he's had a super contest so far. He's in top form. But again, anything can happen in the hot saw. Will he keep his focus here? Hands on the wood. Get set. Good start for Delosa. Sets his saw. He's got a clean cut for the first disc. Second disc is done and dusted. Third disc also looks good. Wow. 8.25 is definitely fast enough. Delosa knows that he's done it. He is absolutely elated. They say in Australia, over the moon. Kogar comes out to congratulate him. Look at this in the replay. A nice start from Delosa. And the joy of a new champion after the heat. So the results of the hot saw. Jason Winyard with the best time in first place. Then comes Martin Komarek. Kogar in front of Delosa. Then Hewitt and Ebner in sixth place. Which means the final results of the Steel Timber Sports Individual World Championship 2013 has been decided here in Stuttgart. The new world champion, Brad Delosa. Matt Kogar taking silver, and Martin Komarek picks up the bronze medal. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's my 13th season, and it's, every year it's harder for me to, to be in the front. So I am, I am pretty happy. I would like to thank you, everyone, which support me and which support this sport because this fair and great sport. Uh, it's truly an honor, though, to be here and compete at this level. You had the world's best here to compete, and it truly was amazing. The ninth Steel Timber Sports World Championship did prove to be a mega event, and here's the man that's won it all, Brad Delosa. It's awesome. It's something I've always strived to do since I... You know, I began my timber sports career and um, to come out on top today was just phenomenal. It's an unbelievable feeling and I'm just, yeah, over the moon, you know. These timber sports warriors celebrate together with their fans here in Stuttgart. We say goodbye from the Steel Timber Sports Individual World Championships 2013 with some of today's highlights. We'll see you guys next year.